Hello everybody, Puppy to one here, and welcome to part 14 of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the Wii U. And, um, well, as you may not have noticed, I have been away for a while. Various things have got on my nerves and everything, but I like to say, say have things, have, things have improved lately. But, we'll see how that turns, turns out in the future. But anyway, as you've seen in my last episode, I have just reached high rank. Now, this would have been a perfect recording if the thing recorded last time, so this is technically a re-recording. Now, I'm going to show you a new location brought to you for in high rank. Now, how did... Wait a minute, how did you get to the notice board? Well, how did you read the notice board? Ugh, hold on a second. Yeah. We are doing a new gathering quest in a new location in higher rank, which is the Misty Peaks. So, um, let's get to it, shall we? And as you can tell, my um, professionalism hasn't improved, so uh, I'm pretty much myself. So anyway, we are off to the Misty Peaks. Now, I want to show you something else which I've been neglecting to tell you. Now, in one of my old older videos I told you how much I like the hammer and I showed you some of the moves and I've clearly neglected to do so with the great sword so let's get to it quickly now as as you know you got your vertical slash when you're on sheath the weapon like so okay try hitting there we go and you got your horizontal slash very handy for look creatures on the ground um, behind you or around you you got your vertical upward slash very handy for flying creatures. Now, as you may have noticed, you, with the great sword, you can charge it by holding down the button. If, okay, I'll just show you. There are three levels: level one, level two, and obviously level three. Now, the thing is, you you have to let go, release. Sorry, you have to release the button well, at the right time. Like, sorry. Yeah, you have to release the button at the right time. Because if you hold it for too long, you you go back to your level two charge, or is it level one? Ah, oh, who knows? Anyway, the, anyway, there are other moves which I sorry, there are other moves of this with this weapon which I didn't bother don't bother to use. You got you got your horizontal slash, not the horizontal slash, but your ah. okay. You got your vertical slash, side slap. And you got, and you got another version of a horizontal slash, which I rarely ever use, and something else I don't ever do with this sword. Block. There, I think that's everything. Now, blocking reduces sharpness of your weapon, so you gotta be really, so you gotta really time it. Time, sorry, I rarely ever block with this weapon, so I dodge a lot. So anyway, there's another, there's something else that I want to show you. Now, yeah, thank you. Um. Where is it? Status. See, I have not played this game for a while. See how professional I am? Okay. Now let's get to what I want to show you. Now, as you see, there's a table. Now, on my um, Giganox video, I've told you that I've gemmed up to prevent being poisoned. Now, some of you might not know what that means. So, um, now, gemmed up means I get, I get decorations which add to a particular skill. Now, with... Now, with... I told you that I like this Lug Icarus armor because there's two particular skills. Blightproof and Part Breaker, as you can see there. Now, Part Breaker is, is pretty obvious. You break them, it's easier to break parts of a monster. Very handy if you want to make a wep weapons or armor. Or anything else. Or decorations or whatever. Anyway, Blightproof is also self explanatory. You, it prevents blight. Now, as you see, I've got other skills. Now, now I, now Bombardier adds explosive damage. Well, uh, well, powers up explosive damage from slime or barrel bombs, which is very. I like using slime weapons, so that's, I find it pretty handy with Heartbreaker. And I have Attack Up Small, which basically adds your two attacks slightly. And I have Capture Guru, which makes it easier to tell when the monster is ready to be captured. But I rarely ever capture monsters, so anyway. And as you can tell, there is a particular skill in red text which is short sprinter now that's basically a negative skill all armors have a negative skill you, you can mitigate that with the 
well you can sorry not mitigate you can counteract that with the with the right gems or all right armor but the thing is though all armors have a negative negative skill so you might you might want to do something about it with with gems okay I think I explained everything properly I hope I have and one more thing before we before I actually take a tour with the Misty Peaks here is the Veggie Elder now if you talk to him three times you get items I rarely ever bother with him so let's not bother let's get a map and let's take a look at the Misty Peaks as with all as with all harvest tours you can you kind of rarely occasionally find a particular monster like I did with the volcano of the great rookie here these these things are the gargoyles. They drop eggs if you if you kick them, or not. I swear they drop eggs if you kick them. Oh well. Anyway, they can they drop eggs, which is kind of handy if we're, if we're doing a gathering quest. Now, bigger monsters rarely ever come here, but I've never seen any, so that's just how it goes, I suppose. Now here's a main area which most most monsters go to. Now I've never seen a monster start here. This thing is destructible, so I wouldn't rely on it entirely for recover against monsters. I believe that's destructible as well. Thanks guys. Thanks for giving me something I'm not gonna use, hopefully. So anyway into another area where, where more, most monsters go to. Now I swear I can get an egg out of you. If you just hold still. Hold still. No, you don't drop an egg. How do you... Seriously, they, these guys drop eggs. How do you get them? Ah, forget. Anyway, here's another main area where mo most monsters go to. So... The thing is, there's not much cover. It's quite small, so you've got to really be careful. But then again, if you come prepared and being careful might not might not be an issue. Ah, we have a guest here. This is the Azeros. I believe he's weak to fire. He he's not too difficult. I believe he was first introduced in Monster Hunter Portal Book Third. He likes honey, so if you beat him up, he tends to go to a honey gathering spot. Okay, I see it to be low on stamina. Lovely. All right. Good thing I got a slam weapon, so it won't be that much of an issue. Whoop! He's angry. When he's angry, he tends to do three swipes instead of the usual one. All right. He's not that particularly difficult. The breakable parts are his hands, and I believe his head is as well. Whoa! Come here. What's he gonna do? He had he has a grabbing move. Which it if he sorry. He has a grabbing move, which um which is which basically just shakes you for honey. And after, after a while he just tosses you aside when he's done. Alright. Come on. Oh, for the love of God. Seriously. Come here. He tends to fall over after a few knocks, like, like most other monsters. Oh, come on, really? Whoa. Okay, so he's angry, he does four swipes instead of three. Yes! Come in. Alright. Now, if you Oh no you don't! No 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 no! Oh you Oh you annoying person. Get over here. No 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 no. Oh uh, you die here. Okay. Hold on a second. I don't think he sleeps here. 
Buffet is his nesting area. Alright. Nice try. Okay. Whoop. Now you're annoying me. There. I appreciate your participation in this episode. And to show my appreciation, I will call you. And that is the Azurus. A not very not very tough creature really. His armor is not too bad. But I don't use it though. So anyway, there's another main area where monsters tend to go to. And you can go through that waterfall, but I'll show you that in a second. Now, the next area I'm going to is where the Azeroth usually spawns when you when you when you do quests that involve fighting him. This is where am I actually has is a spawn spot for most other monsters as well, not just the Azeroth. As we can see, the Bullfangers are having having hurdy time or whatever they're doing. So let's leave them. Don't bu don't bully those guys. We're just doing a harvest tour. So anyway, let's go. Let's check that waterfall, shall we? Excuse me, fellas. Okay, here we are. Now one. No, I think two monsters I know of. Come, no, three. Three monsters I know of tend to come come to the spot. Three monsters which I'm not particularly a fan of. Okay, that looks like piss. I'm sorry, it kind of just looks like piss here. I can't help feeling I'm in the monster's toilet. Let's get out of here. And here is a nesting area of most monsters. Well, two that I know of so far, but I think other monsters nest here as well. I think we're almost done here, so let's go on this what looks doesn't look like a solid bridge, but it actually is. I had no idea this was an actual path you can go into when I first started here. So I was like, wow, you can walk on this? Very interesting. I believe we are now near near the base again. Ah, I'm always going to the wrong bits. You can tell I've not played this in a while, so... And here is where I kill the Azeroth. Excuse me, Kilbys. I'm not here to knock you unconscious this time. And here are the gargoyles again, who are very, very stingy with their eggs. And with that, we are back to the base and to end this quest. Let's get this. And let's get out of here. And that is the Misty Peaks. It's a new look, it's an location which was added in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. I like it. And that's all I really have to say. I'm really bad at commentary. <laughs> which anyone can tell. <sighs> okay, let's see what I got. Anything nice? Alright. I'll send you, you, and you to the box. Sell items and exit. Wow, that's what got my free hunt bonus? Seriously? I usually get more than this. Well, that was she. Eh, who cares? Then that is the Misty Peaks, and I um, hope you liked what, what I did. Well, really, really hoping. So, anyway, I'm gonna end this video now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.